Hey guys, my name is Stu and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a Fall Guys skin. For this tutorial, you're going to be needing a 3D modeling software package, a rendering and texturing package, and some kind of photo editing software. Now you don't have to be using expensive ones, they're really good free options. Blender will cover you perfectly for modeling and rendering, and then you can find any image editing software of your choice that'll cover you for texturing and for final touch-ups. Today I'm going to be using Maya for the modeling, Substance Painter for texturing and rendering, and then Photoshop for the touch-ups and presentation. So let's get into it. So the most important part of creating your Fall Guys skin is the initial concept. If you don't have a good concept, then it's not really going to matter what you do later down the line. You have to have a good idea to begin with for it to look good. Now the concept doesn't need to look fancy. As you can see, mine was very sketchy, but I just did that to get the rough pose and the rough design down. Now that you've got your concept, you can move on to blocking in the bigger shapes of your character. In this case, what you're seeing right now is me creating the one for Requiem Slaps, which is a water bottle. And it's just a quick block out of the idea that I'm going for. So I'm getting the water bottle shape, I'm doing the cap, and I'm just getting some of the basic details done. Now this part is also important, you want to get your proportions down. Now I don't believe that Full Guys has an official model that you can download. So you'll want to quickly grab some kind of a T-pose or orthographic image of a Full Guy so that you can get the proportions down correctly. As I've said before, you can do all of this in Blender. You don't need to be using a software like Maya, which is the one I'm using right now. These things can be done for free, and arguably some of the rendering in Blender is better than what you can do in Substance, which is what I'll be using later for my texturing. So as you guys can see, one of the major parts of Fall Guys is that all of them appear to be wearing these big costumes. Now I tried to match the eye and the face size to what the reference image showed. And really, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is a design. If for some reason they wanted to put your design in the game, they would get their modelers to do it. But this is just how I managed to create a relatively close replica of their kind of full guy skins. So once you've got your design finished, you'll want to go and put them in a pose. You can do this the more manual way, where you rig it up and skin it, and it means it's very easy to move around and pose in different areas. I just did mine this way, which is just shifting around the geometry to get to a final image that I like, as the purpose was only to get a good final image. Now as you can see, I've moved into my texturing program. I'm using Substance Painter as mentioned before but you can use anything you want, and often I would use Photoshop for this process. All you'll want to do is export your UVs and use those as a guideline for where your colors and textures are gonna go. So one of the big parts of Fall Guys is keeping really bright colors. Everything is very friendly and vibrant in that game, and so you'll wanna keep that consistent with your designs as well. Although at the end of the day, you can do whatever you really enjoy and what you think looks good. As you can see at this time, I'm trying to use the render viewport just to get an idea of what the model is looking like. And I've been trying to keep them roughly in the pose that I want in the end, so I can just get reference for how this is going to look as I go through the design. When you are happy with your final image or the render, you'll take that out of the program and you'll put it into Photoshop or whatever image editing software you want to use. In this case, I'll be using Photoshop. This is just the stage of touching up the render of your model. You'll be adding effects or anything else that you would like to add that you didn't manage to get in your render. And in my case, as I was doing a water bottle and this battery for CD in the third, I wanted to add some of the thematic elements that are consistent with their designs. So for CDN the third, which is the battery, 
I wanted positive energy, which is his whole thing. And so I went on and adding some glowing lightning around him. And then later on, you'll see there are some particle effects included. For the case of Requiem Slats, which is the water bottle, I added water images and bubbles and things like that, just to really sell the idea more. And there you have it. That is your final Fall Guys skin ready to go. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope it was helpful. If you'd like to see any more, then you can click on my channel. Otherwise, there's some recommended videos over here.